Okay, so we are starting trigonometry, and well, it, we're not going to always talk about triangles. We are going to start out with triangles. And one good thing about these triangles is all the triangles that we're going to talk about are right triangles to start out for the majority of the uh, three months that we're going to spend on this. There's two special right triangles that you should have learned about in geometry and hopefully reviewed in algebra two, but I don't know how much of that got cut short, but there's two special right triangles. The one on the right side, the one on the right side, it's special because of this. Does anybody know what I just did? Isosceles, I made it isosceles, right? So this is an isosceles right triangle. And um, in this case, we're gonna talk about the angles that make an isosceles right triangle. What are the two acute angles? 45 and 45 because they're both the same. This is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Forty-five, forty-five, ninety. Okay. The other special right triangle that we're going to talk about is a triangle that has the smallest angle of 30 degrees the smallest acute angle, I should say. And then the larger acute angle is 60 degrees. And then the 90 degree um, right angle. So this would be a 30, 60, 90. It doesn't have any other special names that I'm aware of. Maybe it does somewhere deep in the internet. But I've always called it a 30, 60, 90. Okay. And then what's special about right triangles in general is there is a theorem that we use a lot with right triangles and side lengths. Does anybody know what theorem I'm talking about it has to do with all right triangles and side lengths? Famous theorem. If you think about one mathematician, this is probably one that you think of. You know, John? The Pythagorean theorem. Right. We can always use a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And then another thing about triangles in general is I can have a 45, 45, um, 90 degree triangle that is this small or I could multiply all its sides by 10 and it would still be a 45, 45, 90. Like the angles in similar triangles stay the same. So every single 45, 45, 90 triangle is going to have what we're about to talk about and every single 30, 60, 90 is going to have these formulas I'm about to talk about um, because the side lengths will be proportional as we have got different um, different sizes of that same basic 30, 60, 90 triangle. Um, and because of the Pythagorean theorem, if I knew some of the sides, I could find the other one. This will always, always be the same. We never have to do the Pythagorean theorem. All right, so what the heck am I talking about? I'm talking about side lengths. <laughs> Let me see what color. I guess I'll do black. All right, there, and you may see these written differently depending on who taught it, depending on what book you're reading. So I might like do it a few different ways. But basically, we're looking at the ratio of the side lengths. I'm going to look at the isosceles right triangle first. If the side that I'm labeling right now is x units long, if that is x units long, what can you tell me about this side it's sitting on right now? It's also x, right? Now, if we do the Pythagorean theorem, we do it really fast and we solve it, this is what the hy uh, hypotenuse would be. Do we need to go over the hypotenuse? We probably should. The hypotenuse, let me write it down here. The hypotenuse is the longest side in a right triangle
it is opposite the 90 degree angle. And so opposite kind of means like the, the side itself doesn't make the angle, but the angle determines how big the side is. So the hypotenuse is always across from that 90 degree angle. So in this case, it's the longest side. It's the one um, that I haven't labeled yet. The measurement of that side will always be x square root 2. Is there something you want to ask? Okay. Um, you might see this written with A's. Sometimes you might see it like A, 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 square root 2. You might see it written that way. It's basically anything. <laughs> Go ahead. Get your thing open. It's, um, it's anything for the length. Um, the, the hypotenuse would be whatever that number is multiplied by 2. So what if A was 1? or x was 1, then it would look like 1, 1, and square root 2, okay? If x was 10, then it would be 10, 10, 10, square root 2. All right, the other, the other triangle. We've got the shortest side I'm always going to call x. So is the shortest side across from 30 or across from 60 from geometry? It's across from 30. The shortest side, we're going to call x. And I called the shortest side in the other triangle x as well. There were just two of them. They were both the same length. So in both of these, the shortest side is x. The hypotenuse, the hypotenuse is going to be 2x. Okay, the hypotenuse is going to be 2x. And then my third side, that medium leg, that longer leg, is going to be x square root 3. And that's by the Pythagorean theorem that we could find that stuff if we had measurements. But we don't at this moment. We just have variables. You could see it using a's. Or you could see it just with numbers. Like this could be a 1, this could be a 2, and this could be a square root 3. I've seen it all three ways. Okay, so why am I calling this and spelling it wrong? Why am I doing that? Did you know I spelled it wrong? Lydia, did you know, did you know I spelled it wrong? Okay, why am I doing that? It has a two in it, okay? So I try to think of something clever to help you remember. On the isosceles right triangle, people don't normally forget that one. But on the 30, 60, 90, people forget where the 2 and the 3 go. Because 3 seems bigger, but it's really square root of 3, which is not bigger than 2. 2 is the bigger number. Um, so I say hypotenuse, then we remember where the 2 goes. <coughs> A few more things about this. Um, in the 30, 60, 90, there's three different side lengths. And the radical that we have in the 30, 60, 90 is a square root 3. So I kind of put those two thoughts together. The one that has three different side lengths has a square root of 3. The other triangle has how many different side lengths? Different side lengths. Two. So this one with two different side lengths. I have a square root of 2. There's only one square root per triangle. You have to know these. There is not going to be a time where you will get a formula sheet. You have to know these, which is why I'm trying to give you goofy ways of remembering them. You have to know these. You have to know it's x, x, x radical 2 or 1, 1 radical 2 and you have to know 1, 2, radical 3. You have to know that. Okay? That is a memorization. There. 
Did I spell it right? Memorize. Okay. All right. So the very first, so that's our first notes. And I'm going to give you some time to start working on the worksheet. I didn't really tell you much about this because you guys are a um, higher level course. But I'm here to answer questions. There is a worksheet. You're not going to have time probably to finish it, maybe. Um, under your modules. Special right triangle review worksheet. So this is a review worksheet, but some of it's a little bit more challenging. And you're just going to find whatever variables are there. 